In today's video, I'm going to show you a really cool, free, powerful AI plugin for Audacity that will take your music track and separate it into the vocals and instrumentals. So if you need just the instrumental track, no problem. If you need to cut out a certain word, no problem. It's crazy. If you are not already familiar with Audacity, it's a free open source music editing program for both Windows and Macs. And actually, I have a video walking you through step by step how to use it to edit a dance mix together. So make sure you go check that out in the cards up above. And before we get into this, I have to say a disclaimer. It is only for Windows at this moment. Sorry, Max, but you guys usually get all the new shiny apps and things. So let us take this one for now. All right. But the moment it is available in Mac, if I hear about it, I will let you all know. First thing you're going to do is go to this link. I will have it in the description. You're going to scroll down and under assets, click on this first one. It'll download it, which I already did. It will look like this. Now just to walk through these steps, double click. And now we're going to go next, next, next. All of these are great. I wouldn't really worry about checking any of these other ones next. And then it will go through the rest of the download, which I already did. So I'm going to stop that, but it's a pretty simple download. Now at the end, you will have this pop up. And so it says to actually use the plugin, you have to enable this in the settings, which is very important because I didn't pay attention to this at first and then I couldn't use it. So let's open up audacity and I'll show you how to do this and then use the plugin. Okay, we are in Audacity. I've already pulled in an audio clip. And so let's do this. It says open Audacity, go to preferences and then modules. So we're going to go here, file, edit, preferences. Then we're going to go to modules down here. And now we're just going to go find the one that says mod open Vino. Here, make sure it says enabled. Okay. Now from there, I'm just going to double click this, make sure this track is selected. You can go to effect and you should see now open Vino AI effects, music separation. Hit okay for that. We're going to separate it into, well, that's crazy. You can actually do four. We're going to do two for now. Hit apply. So this will do just instrumental and vocals. This is if you wanted, actually, why not? Let's just try this because I know the other one works. Hit apply. And there you go. So the original track is still at the very top, but we have the drums, we have the bass, other instrumentals and vocals. That's so cool. All right, I'm going to move this up just so it's a little bit easier to look at because this is really what we want. All right, I'm going to mute this one and let's actually, let's do this first. I'm going to solo this track so you can just hear what the original sounded like. Just a little bit of it. All right, so that's the full track. So now let's mute that. And now if we play everything, let me make these a little bit smaller so we can see it. All in one go. So now if we play from the beginning, it should sound the exact same, right? Because not it has all the tracks in there. That is crazy. And each track actually sounds good on its own. I feel like in the past, any kind of AI separation thing, you'll hear these weird artifacts and things don't sound real. But if I just solo the bass,
All right, let's see the other instrumentals. Skip around a little bit. So now if I wanted just the instrumentals, I could mute vocals and still have everything else. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, now let's solo this and let's look for a word we want to take out. True story, you can't stop me. You can't stop me. I'm up too high, can't stop me. All right, just for the sake of this demonstration, let's say we want to take out. I'm up too high, can't stop me. I'm up too high, can't stop me. Let's say we just want to take out this part. So I go here. Highlight it. Let's just play to make sure it's what we want. I'm up. I'm Only just the I'm. I'm. Hit backspace. Oop. Oh, just kidding. Somewhere. We're gonna split that. Now backspace. There we go. That way it doesn't join in. So if we hear on its own. Can't stop me. I'm up too high. Can't and if it's not quite right, we can always, you know, drag it a little bit, fine tune stop it. Stop me. I'm up too high. And now, if we don't solo it, you can't stop me. I'm up too high. Look at that. Usually, there's that awkward gap, but like it actually works because everything else in the track is still there. That is crazy. Let's see another example. Just I don't know the song. Uh, the sky. All right, let's go sky. Let's take out that word. Wait, that's not what we just zoomed in. <laughs> Where is this? Um, like a bird, I saw through the sky. Queen. Sky, right there. Sky. Go here. Split clip. Delete it. Let's play it back. <laughs> Look at that. That is crazy. And then from there, you know, you can export it like normal. File, export audio, computer, fill out the name, uh, pick the location, and you're good to go. Guys, that is crazy, but that just shows how powerful technology is getting nowadays. So there you go, a super quick, very powerful plugin for you to use. I can't tell you how many times I wish there was the clean version of a song that I could use and I couldn't find it, so I couldn't use the track. And now you could make your own clean version, which is crazy. So I hope this video was helpful. Again, if you don't know how to use Audacity, I have a full video showing you step-by-step -step how to use it to edit your dance music together. Uh, make sure you like this video, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell icon so you know every time I drop a video. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Guys, this is a wild world we live in right now.